myself, I was always a bit of a speed demon and a bit of a wild child, so I guess it's, you know, mum's always like, just be careful. <laughs> so it's, it's a fun thing and it, I've made some fantastic friends and I've had some awesome teammates and some very special bonds that, you know, I'm sure I'll have for the rest of my life. My first ever overseas trip was Junior Worlds when I went to Moscow. I rode the team's pursuit and we won it in the world record time, I think, as a, as a junior. And it was an awesome experience. My family was over there as well, so that was exciting to share with them. And it's a definitely an experience that I'll never forget and a place I'll never forget as well. Can you run us through what goes through your head as you warm up leading into your racing? Before I get on the bike, I'm always listening to music. I love music. I was brought up with music, you know, from the 60s all the way through to, you know, today's music and everyone approaches it differently. You know, some people like to stay in their own shell and that's each to their own and you've got, to, you've got to know what your teammates like. But I know myself and I guess I think Josie's another one and Sarah, we can have a joke before we race and, but as soon as we get on the bike, it's, there's one main focus and that, that is, I guess, to win and, and to get the best out of, out of ourselves and each other and I, but you know there's always time for a joke or two before we start that's for sure. <laughs> I do get extremely ner nervous right before the line. I think it's the, the gates noise and the timing and the beats. Absolutely love it. It's my favourite event of nationals and that's what we all get excited about is that event. You know it's an Olympic event um, the three of us are all in the squad, potentially for the Olympics, and riding together is so much fun. We know each other inside and out, so we can always do it with our eyes shut. It's, it's such a fun experience. It's always nice to have a nice big crowd cheer you on. It's, yeah, it's always exciting. There's a few girls that inspire me to, to ride, and I think a personal inspiration would probably be someone like Josie Tomic, who pretty much, when I first started, kind of took me under her wing, and you know, help help me train and because I lived in the hills at the time so I kind of fell into a little bit of a hole like up in the hills and didn't train so much but she's honest and she tells you how it is and tells you to pull your head in when you need to and she's been absolutely fantastic. She's like a little coach. <laughs> What's the best bit of advice you've been given whether that's cycling related or non-cycling related? Best bit of advice I've ever been given would be from Dad um, and it was get up, get over it and get on with it. You can't stay motivated and you can't stay fit all year round and you can't have awesome form all year round but when you don't have it it's, it's important to do your best to, to stay focused and remember why you do it and I guess on the hard days you tell yourself why you do it and you know, do you really want to be at London? <laughs> yeah, you got to ask yourself the question I guess. Riding with Green Edge is an extremely special experience. In the front, Sprat gets it, but the two top women fight shoulder to shoulder, and it is the yellow jersey of Melissa Hoskins who seals the championship. The girls and the team are fantastic. We get along so well, and it's just to, to debut in Australia as well it was fantastic. And I didn't, I didn't at all expect that success. Uh, so that that was really exciting. I think my coach once said to me, you've got this opportunity to do something extraordinary and the rest of your life to be ordinary. So <laughs> <laughs> I've kind of got that opportunity, so I've got to roll with it.